In late 2007, Accord Stage Works was given the contract of creating a set of puppets for Little Shop of Horrors. The brief was quite stringent and requested lip sync and as much activity as we could get in the puppet sizes available to make them as convincing as possible and to have the real wow factor. The downside to this meant that a lot of mechanics had to be fitted into these puppets, which is fine, but when you're dealing with a very small area, that becomes a problem. Here in pod one, there is full mobility of rotation. There are two levers, one to open the mouth and one to purse the lips, and a dial, which for the grow for me number, enabled you to grow a majestic two and a half inches. From pod one, Audrey gets fed blood, as we know, and moves on to pod two. Here's one I made earlier. This is the original pod two. The request for this particular puppet was didn't want to look as though it was being performed by the performer. So, again, mechanical engineering came into play and enabled us to have the puppet at arm's length and be fully operated. Again, with triggers and levers. This is all well and good, but mechanical things tend to be very heavy, as these are. Mechanical things also, over time, wear out. And four years down the line, our beautiful set of plants were very tired and have undergone numerous surgeries to have cables replaced, aluminium parts re-engineered and refitted, and so on. Which is a shame, but it enabled us to have now four years of research and development to make these striking plants better, lighter, easier to use, easier to transport, and still be just as striking and endearing as the original cast. As the show progresses, Audrey grows, and we start to see the more monstrous side of the plant. And then you are introduced to what we refer to as number three pod, which truly is a monster. The request for this was to have lip sync and to be as mobile as possible. This created challenges because to make a shell this large move and stretch and purse and pull back and bounce and do all of the finite movements of a lip is extremely challenging. The result was a set of two levers which rotate that way and that way to enable the lips to do everything that were needed to do to simulate speech. Again, as with the first two plants, the complexity of that mechanical system failed numerous times over the four years of life that these plants have enjoyed. Number three eats body parts in its huge maw, and they are extracted through this secret flap by the performer. So as well as moving all of the lips and the jaw and holding the, holding the pod up, the puppeteer also was responsible for retrieving the body parts. The downside to something of this size, much like the two smaller ones, is weight. This particular puppet weighs 45 kilos, which, if you work it out, would be the equivalent of standing still for 45 minutes with two bags of cement strapped to your chest, which is not for the faint-hearted, and you certainly have to be in peak physical fitness to even consider operating this plant. Over the time that these have been going out on hire, we've learned that weight is definitely an issue and Audrey needed to go on a diet. And so with the generation of new plants, this has been made much lighter, much easier to use, eradicated all of the mechanical elements that were 
included for the for the better reasons to begin with, but in time actually proved to be its downfall. So the new plant is smaller, lighter, easier to use, far less complicated, and far less strenuous on the performer. From number three, Audrey evolves again, having fed heartily on body parts, and becomes pod four. This beast, but we have no idea how much it weighs, it comes apart into two pieces and now takes two people to operate. But the majesty of pod four comes in here where it is now able to in eat full-size people. And again, through a cunningly hidden trap door, they make their way through the plant and exit via a trap door in the stage. Again, the size of this plant just created even bigger problems that we'd experienced with the first three. So the new number four will be, again, as with the new number three, will be smaller, easier to operate, just as striking, just as functional, but nowhere near as hazardous to the performers who have to operate them. The new pod 4 is yet to be begun in construction, but the new pods 1, 2 and 3 are all con already created. Number 3 is in the final stages of completion and we'll be demonstrating those to you in this next segment. Mm -hmm. 